on a new site just mobilized this evening gonna start this tomorrow we're taking this over another contractor was here uh, first we're gonna do a 20 by 20 by Alaskan slab it's been a month and some and this is what is done so hopefully tonight this stuff will be out of here and them forms are out of here and we will have a clean slate to work with we'll fill this in and do it the right way there's his forms there but needless to say it's way cocked from the house anyways it's the first thing that you see when you come up it's over here so when you drive out of this driveway you're going to be into the corner of the house always parallel and we'll do that in the morning next morning here we got a parallel here and here off the foundation we ran it out and that is if you can see that stake out there that's where it is here's the old excavation from the previous guy it was not aligned with the house it was off five six feet we're gonna pull five foot these are setbacks so we'll go another five foot over get this thing in line with this building we got jj on site and uh let's get the skids here and get this thing uh backfilled and tamped back in and then give us a clean slate all right let's get her filled in we'll get her tamped up take this stone fill that in coming up in four inch lifts on this haunch even though this isn't the haunch we're using still got to compact it up but the slab will be will be inside the slab at some point somewhere somehow all right 20 by 20 squared box ranged off of this house we're 12 foot off the house and this is in line with that corner and then a box and you can see the other trench how far it was off i mean he had it dug out to here and then straight like that so he was way over here i don't know what was going on there but whatever needless to say that's why we're here um we'll get this shaped up get it boxed out tamped in and then start laying forms Cut out, tamped in, and then uh, got a little more cut in there, and then we'll start blowing stone in the center, get that to where it's got to be, and form time. 
All right, everything's tamped, boxed out. We're gonna put our boards on the outside of these pins, 20 by 20. We'll do three sides and then grade the center so I can get in and then put the last board on. There's our stone. We're ready for stone. We got the three boards up, scab them together, 20 by 20, leave the front open. Again, the haunch was all tamped and then as you saw, these little piles are our grade height, four inches different. So we got a 12 by 12 inch haunch concrete all the way around, which also will have rebar. And then that, the whole center will be wire mesh, but then a four inch center, it tapers up to four inches and these are our grade marks. So now I'll take the rest of the stone I got. Hopefully we have enough, fill this in, tamp it. Then we're good. Then we can put the front board on. Well, it's downpouring real good. It says we're gonna get big, huge thunderstorms, so we're gonna go eat, see what the day does. Back on site. Just raking out, I dropped some more stone off yesterday. Ready for the first tamp on the stone, getting raked out. Might not have uh, needed that extra stone I brought, but it is what it is. Get to it. set some string lines up and uh, make sure we got four inches in the center. Then we got bracing and whalers we put all on this, these boards to hold them from bowing because they will bow with that much creed against them. Even though we shoot with a laser, we still put string lines up, put them in the, each corner, a little screw, hook the string lines to it. And then you measure down so you know you got your four all the way through. Triple check. All right, we got pins going in. All right, we're getting our whalers in. I got blue dots on there. You're wondering why? Because that's where my screws are. Because once the concrete's up in there and you go to strip, you'll never find that. That's going to fill with concrete. You won't know where that screw is. Whalers go on and it keeps it all straight. And nice. Like so. Just put that up like that and throw screws in it. Done. All right, everything's whalered up, squared up, pinned up. Now we're just going to pin the front and all sides with a little bit of stone. Halfway up on the board. Everything's backfilled, getting the rebar in, putting some uprights in every corner, like so. And then we'll put them periodically to hold the rebar up. Overlap your rebar, tie it with the twisty ties. If you never use the rebar bender, you must. They make perfect 90s, like so. There's my five foot paint mark. Put it on your dot. Once you got that where you want her. Hang on, I'm trying to do this one-handed here with the camera. You just bend her up. There's your 90. Done deal. All right, just putting the rebar in and tying it. Tying it with twisty ties. I put two on each. Make sure you're three inches off the, the, uh, the bottom. 
and three inches off the form on the side and three inches below the concrete on the top. It's all by code. Overlap your rebar, put your uprights, and just tie them with the twisty ties. All right, the wire, rebar, everything is all in. We are ready for concrete. Inspection just was here, it went well. And see you on the pour. Back on site, early morning. Got the white trucks here. Yeah, many. Got Miko and JJ. Gonna pour this up. Get to it. Let's get after it. Turn the laser on, LL400 self-leveling laser we use, HL700 receivers. We just had enough to get it in. Miko is teaching little brother how to rake the concrete. We got a little time to give a lesson. Now we're gonna screed.
All right, it's all in, Viber screeded. Just gonna tap these edges. Meek's gonna channel float it. Then we'll knock the edges down and it's a waiting game from that point. Just had enough cement. Ordered an extra y half yard at the last minute. Good thing. Probably had a quarter left, quarter yard left over. One on the handle. Well, if you don't need it, you don't need it. Huh? If you don't need it, you don't need it. Ah, uh, yeah. JJ, give him that handle, that yellow one. Put another handle on. Go both directions. He's going to go this way, then he's going to go that way. Guarantees you a flat floor. All right, nice and flat. He was going both ways with it. Got JJ working the edges, teaching him young. Looking good. All right, about an hour after the pour, hitting the edges again, putting this chamfered edge on the front, just tapering it. Got about a half inch taper on this, because this is an elastic slab. It's a little different there's no pitch on the slab it's flat so we're just tapering this front a tiny bit where the garage door opening is and in about 20 more minutes we'll be hitting it with the pizza pan which is this i know people are asking what this is is this a pan trial machine goes in there the blades catch on here and we hit that use that for the first hit and that really takes all the imperfections out of the whole floor severely and then second hit we start using the, the blades all right pizza pan time first hit All right, that's the first hit with the pan. Gonna let it set about a half hour. Hit the edges by hand and uh, start trailing it with the blades. Got a nice little breeze going. The sun's coming this way. Hopefully makes it around these trees. Make it a little easier on us. All right, just hitting these edges. Getting them flat with a steel for the second hit. Then we'll hit trial machine on the blades. And marry all that in. We'll be on that in another 20 minutes. Sun is nice and hot. Clean your form as you go like that. 
so it stays clean when you go to strip. All right, all right, we got two hits down with the trial machine, knocking the edges down one more time. Big brother teaching little brother on the technique on the steel. He's getting it. He's getting it. Probably uh, two more hits. Sun's popping nice. Two more hits and she'll be pretty. That's hit number three or four, I don't remember, but going to be one more hit and be done. Looks pretty now, that's for sure. All right, last hit here. I'm gonna hit it with a little Holy Springs water.
There she is, ladies and gents. Looking pretty. Polished. Sun is popping. It was a quick set. 20 minutes between hits, 20, 25 minutes. Hit it four to five times. I believe it's four. So in, in, this, in this heat like this, concrete goes fast. But that's a nice Alaskan slab right there. Next, we'll strip this, saw cut this like this, and be done with it. But as far as this video, it is over. So I will catch you guys on the next one. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thumbs up and subscribe.